welcome back. I am the guy who does not spoil movies because people who spoil movies are not cool. Like, hey, I'm so boring of a person. I'm going to tell everyone how the, how the movie ends so that you respect me. It doesn't work that way. But see, I'm cool because I'm giving you fair warning in the title and the opening of this video that I'm totally going to give away a very important part of Avengers Endgame. If you don't stop watching this video right now, only watch this video if you've seen the movie and want to discuss it. Okay, so have you seen Avengers Endgame? Yes? Keep watching. No? Turn it off right now. There's no reason to watch this. Okay, you're sure? Okay, so we are going to proceed in talking about Thor and the big surprise in Avengers Endgame. Okay, minute into it, there we go. I, I like to give a minute warning to stop watching the video if you don't want to hear this. Thor, that's hilarious. That's one of my favorite parts. And my favorite part is the thing with Captain America, but man, Thor being overweight and out of shape, that's so awesome. You know, for this movie to have worked out right, we needed, we needed closure with these characters, but we also needed to still see how their characters evolve. And that was something that Marvel was so good at in each of their movies. We need to see this person start out here, and by the end, they're, they're a different version of, of themselves. And what else could you possibly do with Thor? You know, after you've watched all the, all the movies, you've seen all the ways he's physically changed, the way he's grown up, the way he's lost so much in his life. And so it makes sense that, yeah, he's just going to basically just retire and be lazy for five years, but come out of shape and then suddenly be called back into it. Not really because he wants to, but because he ultimately has to. A fat, overweight Thor is hilarious. Uh, it's a little, it's a little uh, too real for me. I know you can't tell from looking at this, but you don't see me with my shirt all the way off. And I'm just telling you, no matter how thin you are as a teenager, eventually it catches up to you. So that by the time you're pushing 40, you're like, I eat so healthy and I exercise and I run and I do all these things. But still, like, when I saw Thor, I'm like, that's hilarious, but it's not too funny because... We've given another decade, and that's exactly how I'll look with my shirt off. So yeah, that was so hilarious, so awesome. And the whole movie, I mean, the whole movie, all the way through, like, even when he's doing important stuff, he's still, he's still overweight and out of, out of shape. But when you look at the character development in that movie for Thor, he had already done everything. And once he got to basically just be lazy for five years of his life, and... Then it was like, well, what else was it going to do? And I liked how things ended with him too, uh, with basically apparently joining the Guardians of, of the Galaxy. That made a lot of sense to begin with because he was already openly a space alien and knew a lot all about it. That made a lot of sense. If we never have another Guardians of the Galaxy movie and Thor's not in it, I'm, if that never happens, I'm okay with it. If it does happen, I'd love it because one of my favorite Avengers movie out of all of them is definitely Ragnarok. I love that movie. So, but what, a, what a, an interesting character choice because again, for these movies to be interesting, these characters to be interesting, we need to see them evolve as, as characters in each movie and in, through the whole series. So to see <laughs> the strongest Avenger, as, as we know, become the laziest Avenger, uh, that was a that was a great movie. And that was that was a great way to see Thor in a new light, and come to terms with who he uh, who he is. I, then they say that movie is not about who you need to be, but who you are. I think that they were that was one of the themes in that movie. So hilarious. That was great. What do you have to say about it here in the comments? Hey, if you make these videos relevant, where we're talking about Endgame, I'll keep making them. I just don't know how the free market's going to decide on that yet. Comments belong right here.